both Bill and Brown. Really well with the help of Hopkins. Now Bolo sees it. Goes past Bateman. Here's Galvin showing it. He beats a lungy. Runs to Gutherson. Oh! It's a race for the line. Jerry Bolo. He scores off the back of a piece of brilliance by Lachlan Galvin. Head to head with his former teammate in an all conquering Westfield Sports High School team. They come together. Galvin wins the battle. Can you believe it? It was a mouth-watering matchup today. Talangi up against his school partner in Lachlan Galvin. Galvin set up the first try. And with the game on the line after being in the sin bin for a hip drop tackle, the kid doesn't go into his shell. And dominating on the big level, the show and go, the right-hand fan. We've seen it all for Westfields. Now we're seeing it on the big stage. Galvin on the inside of Gutherson. He's dreamed of this moment. On the inside of Gutherson all week. And right next to him, Jareem Buller, the other superstar, the young star for the Tigers. And in the blink of an eye, the Tigers will be back in front. Can you believe it? Look at this. The coaches box is up. And Benji might, he might need a game at Con Concord next week and then get on the late flight. Oh, Robbie Farrah might need a sedative. <laughs> He's on the favourite in the Melbourne Cup, the way he was celebrating. Lachlan Galvin. A remarkable story. Ten minutes in the sin bin. Comes out and beats his own partner in Westfield Sports High School. Sets up Buller. You could have dreamed this scenario. The Tigers back in front at 16-14. Oh, the game just just continues to produce superstars. And, and this kid is a star. What, what about that, Galvin? It was three on three, and all of a sudden it became a duel between the two kids, the two stars, and it was Galvin. That was brilliant. The fin, the ball around the corner. Look at the smile on his face. What, what a moment for him. When he came back from the sin bin, Happy Coruscant turned around and gave him a thumbs up and said, all good, mate. We defended the 10 while you were away and considered just the two points from the penalty goal. He'll have a problem with the hip drop beyond full time today, but there's a game here to be won. Forward. If the Tigers win today, it will be the first time they've had more wins than losses at any stage of a season since round three in 2020. Good. It's four years in the making. A two and one record. If they can get the job done here this afternoon. Bolle playing from Coruscant. Comes across to Safar. Brings it back within 10 of the halfway line. Chance for a kick from inside the 40. Caesar is there. Drives it low through the line. Straight at Mike Asivo. Gets a one hopper. He'll appreciate that. Looked a bit poppy there bringing it back, Mike Asivo. They're out on their feet here at the moment, Parramatta. And that was not his best kick of the day. Caesar reasonably shallow. And with two plays, they're up to the halfway line already. Gee, the work of Coruscant has been exceptional this afternoon got through a mountain of work defensively but his management of his side while Galvin was in the sin bin uh, he is an absolute superstar isn't he Coruscant as Brown comes off the left foot and straightens 30 metres out two plays left in this set comes across to Hopkins Ballor season was going backwards defensively there the ball comes through oh, look at that. Coruscant dives on it it'll be a knock on both ways Accidental offside, where do you want it? Accidental in fact, is the call from Liam Kennedy. And it goes to the way of the Tigers, and they are just more desperate. We'll just watch here, Barlow just he just drops the ball out the back, and then it becomes messy. But look there, the desperation of their captain. What a significant signing he has been for the West Tigers. So in a tough season last year, the difference that he made, and boy, what a fortnight he's put together for Benji Marshall. Junior Tupo stepping in traffic. The Tigers to work it away from their own end. Coruscant is there when he left the Panthers. 
A Panthers official and not our colleague Greg Brandy Alexander said, yeah, he's just going to the Tigers for a bit of superannuation at the back end really? of his career. I'll tell you what, well, it's been more than superannuation for Coruscant, what he's delivered yeah. for the Tigers. Look at this, look at that pass, the selection of it. Clemmer comes to Bateman, just outside the 40. Galvin waiting on that left-hand side. Coruscant looked at him, comes back to Clemmer, who will take it towards the 30, and the Tigers with one more. Seven minutes remaining, and an absorbing Easter Monday contest. Kick put in the air by Caesar. Is it too big? It is. Sebo getting back there. Well, he's, he's almost on one leg, but he did very well to get back there and take that on the full. Whether it's cramp or whether he's done a calf, it must Jones. just be cramp because the trainers just run past That's him right. and hasn't had a conversation with him. So they're trying to push Sebo through. He used in his first game back for the season. To Lange. Good, good signs as well. Kelma Tualangi, who was part of that hit drop from Galvin, he's back onto the field for Parramatta. He was left on the ground off the back of the Galvin tackle. The Eels at the halfway line. Lasik out there. Hopgood. Tulangi under pressure from Olam again. Don't look up because you'll see Justin Olam charging towards you. Paul Rose and Dreadlocks bouncing everywhere. He might have hurt himself, Justin Pollan. Looks a bit dusty making his way back in the defensive line. Here is Gutterson. Puts a kick in. Floating backwards. Who wants it for the Tigers? Nobody wanted it. It sits up here. Papa Lee, he has it. There was an eel taken out of play. Yeah, Sean Lane. He's the one that's been doomed to have been taken out of play by... And they're going to challenge this, the Tigers. Joey, they've got a captain's challenge. Well, they might have a Tigers case the challenge in the decision saw. of a penalty escort on Sean Lane. Well, it's far Tarpe, the man of concern. And if they can win this... Kick chase has been clear to this point. You would think Clint Gutherson will take the two. Solomona for Tarpe runs an escort. The challenge by the West Tigers is unsuccessful. line towards the ball wasn't far off being directly at it but he's taken the line away from lane and from right in front it'll be gutherson who levels things up here at 16 apiece yeah, hold on to your hat this next five minutes uh, could be anything both sides are absolutely exhausted justin Ollum, you can see there he's getting his carbs worked on cramp from both it's littered through both sides Remember, in this corresponding game two years ago, the two sides Jackson were locked Hastings. up at 20 apiece. And yes, Jackson Hastings supplied a longish range field goal to get the Tigers home in remarkable scenes. Well, we're headed for field goal time here right now. Five minutes remaining. It's 16-all in this Easter Monday Classic. Well, Aiden Caesar's had a great knack of kicking field goals. No Mitch Moses today, who is a sharpshooter. When it comes to field goals, will it be that man there, Gutherson? Will Dylan Brown step up? Who gets the first chance? Pressure here on the Eels. Now we are locked up again to get away from the road end without incident. Sees it with the restart. Kickoff goes down to Brown. It's Aaron Gillard to bring it back with Uto Ikemanu. Volley there Happy as home. well. They have bashed each other all day, Uto Ikemanu and Campbell Gillard. From the get-go. Hey. Penalty there. Oh, oh, looking for an offload, but there was nobody pushing up. Not good. Simple stuff from the Eels, taking no chances to work it away from their own end. Here is Gutherson at the line. Gives it to Lane. Back at the halfway line. Last tackle. It's Gutherson again. He's taken over. He has. He's the first receiver at the back end of the six. Putting in the kicks. Bullen makes the catch. option there. He just takes it forward. And they get away without incident from their own, the Parramatta Eels. I think Gutherson has one field goal. Here he goes. In his career, here's a chance. They were almost away there. 
Tupo. Yeah. He's grabbed a, a calf muscle now. He's also got a cramp. What a shame. He was about to accelerate and open up this Parramatta side. He's been terrific this afternoon. Junior Tupo cut off the left foot, sliced through, and then the cramp grabbed hold of him. Staines now carrying the footy. If they get another chance, Gutherson is the only player in the Eels lineup today who's kicked a field goal in first round. Yeah. And one at that. Aiden Caesar has 10 in his career. And here they are on the other side of halfway. Two plays left. A very long range attempt here. You'd imagine they'd be kicking for the corner. Caesar. Now oh, he's thinking about a two pointer. What a great strike. So it will work out okay. Gutherson lets it bounce a second time and they'll stop him at their own 10. So as good as a kick in general play. Yeah, Parramatta caught a little unaware there. Caesar just caught the footy with no thought other than to go for the two-point field goal. You're already you right, sliced it. And that was enough to end up with a decent kick into that left corner. And now Parramatta just jammed inside their 20. Two and a half minutes. Good one by Asik. Jumping out of dummy half. A long time to go for a scoop like that. Gutherson's there again at first receiver. Brown on his outside. Harper puts it down. Here's a chance coming up for Wes. Yeah, Morgan Harper. Out on this left edge. And you could see it unfolding. You could see it unfolding. It was... Brown, who I thought was going to run the footy, where he's looked dangerous, but the ball just sat on the right shoulder of Harper. That was enough for the jamming defence there of Staines and Caesar. And there it is again, Aiden Caesar. What a performance from the veteran. Covering tackle, force and error, and it might just be the play of the game. An omen being here today on Easter Monday for the Tigers. We mentioned the Hastings field goal a moment ago. The last five Tigers victories at this venue have been by one point. <laughs> Is history about to repeat? Well, they're going to get a shot. Caesar will want to set up the right post around this part of the field where they're at now. He'll open up his left foot kick. Alvin Nous, the 32-year-old, has called upon right here. Galvin turns it to Bateman. Back towards the middle. Good carry there. They want a quick he might play go now. ball. Still going. Campbell Gillard, desperate to hold him down, but not give away a penalty. Caesar is there, Coruscant, didn't have a clean pass to him. He wants a quick play the ball. Papa Lee, he says, get out of the way. Caesar from right in front. Got it. Caesar's the moment. He kicks the field goal that puts the Tigers in front. 42 seconds on the clock. What a performance this afternoon from the veteran. Defensively, he was enormous in the first half. He was calculated with his kicking game and with a low, flat field goal. Not only did he force the error downfield, he has now landed what could be the deciding moment. Aiden Caesar, what an afternoon for the veteran. His 11th career field goal. And the West Tigers... What a boil over here at Combank. Fearless Cucumber in the coach's box. Here's the head coach himself. Everybody else, they can't sit down. Short restart here. The Eels need to get it back. Buller, it looked like, was interfered with. Well, hold on. Gutherson might take the two here. He's going to have a shot. It looked like Buller was grabbed. The ball came forward to Papa Lee and a chance here from wide out to snatch it at the death for Parramatta. Can you believe it? I, I thought Buller was interfered with. Subo wasn't an option. He can hardly move. He's really struggling with cramp, but there was no doubt that Jeroen Buller, I'd have to see it again, was covered... Here it is. Harper gets oh, to pull. Makes contact with him before the ball's there. And it's not too dissimilar to what we saw between the Tigers and the North Queensland Cowboys of the Queensland Country Bank Stadium Valentine home. a couple of seasons ago. Is this a, is this a Parramatta home game? Listen to the crowd. 
The Tigers fans just booing the king. The whole thing has come down to this. Gutherson. Six metres in. 37 metres out. To win it for Parramatta. To steal it for the Eels. He strikes it and drags it to the left-hand side. The West Tigers win. The Benji Marshall era is in full swing. What a moment for the West Tigers. They took down the Sharks. They've taken down the Eels. And for the first time since 2020, they've won more than they've lost at any stage of a season.